Welcome to Sphere Finance. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. In this video, I'm going to talk about Cone, the first VE33 DEX to be launched on the Binance Smart Chain. But first, if you haven't already, subscribe. It helps support the channel, and by ringing the bell, you will automatically be notified when we create new content. Cone will be the first VE33 decentralized exchange to be launched on the Binance Smart Chain. VE33 means that vote lockers will define how Cone rewards to liquidity providers will be distributed, and vote lockers will receive all the unique fees and bribes from liquidity pool gauges that they vote for. In turn, liquidity providers will receive cone rewards from gauge emissions. To put it another way, VE33 creates a positive feedback loop where liquidity providers provide more liquidity to generate more swap volume and therefore generate more swap fees. More swap fees attracts more VE cone holders to vote to earn those swap fees and therefore increase cone rewards to attract more liquidity providers. In this way, both holders of VE cone, aka staked or locked cone, and liquidity providers become united under a common goal of high swap fee revenue. Using an illustration from Dystopia on the Polygon network with its token DYST as a reference, Another feature of the VE33 system that helps to stabilize emissions is that the percentage of cone locked as VE cone determines the rate of cone emissions, directly influencing the total future supply. In other words, the higher the percentage of total supply locked as VE cone, the lower the total emissions and total cone supply in the future. This provides a general incentive for all users to lock as many cone tokens as possible to reduce circulating supply for a higher price of cone, and to use locked cone to earn swap fees, contributing to yet another positive feedback loop. Additionally, cone will have features inspired by Uniswap V2, Curve, and Olympus DAO. Volatile pools are based on Uniswap V2, as this is more appropriate for swapping volatiles and uncorrelated assets. With stable pools, the gauge voting and boosted reward system are based on Curve. And the VE33 income structure and supply distribution were inspired by the concept of mutual cooperation popularized by Olympus DAO. Users can use Cone for multiple purposes. First, seeing as Cone will be a DEX at its core, users will be able to swap all assets, volatile pairs, uncorrelated pairs, and stable pairs, all with low slippage and low fees thanks to combined and improved features from Uniswap V2 and Curve. Cone will be attractive for swaps because it will have significantly lower swap fees compared to other DEXs, which typically charge 0.3% per volatile swap and 0.04% for stables. In contrast, the fee structure of Cone is 0.05% for volatiles and 0.01% for stables, enhancing Cone's ability to attract high volume. Second, users can provide liquidity to farm Cone token emissions for profit. This process will feel familiar to liquidity yield farmers. And third, users can become governance stakers by locking Cone into VE Cone to decide which pools receive emissions, to receive swap fees and bribes from the gauge that they vote on, to earn boosted cone rewards, and to receive a portion of weekly allocated cone emissions. This makes cone highly attractive for other DeFi projects as well, because through VE cone voting, other DeFi projects can both incentivize their own liquidity 
and earn swap fee revenue from their own liquidity. Users who hold VE cone determine what the cone emission distributions are for each gauge through a weekly vote. This feature makes cone different from DeFi 1.0 DEXs such as SushiSwap, QuickSwap, Trader Joe, Radium, and PancakeSwap, whose native token rewards are distributed through criteria that are not well defined for the community. In contrast, in Cone, it is the users themselves who determine how the rewards are distributed, making the entire reward distribution process transparent and completely in the hands of the community. This also generates more demand for Cone tokens due to its high utility when locked as VE Cone. The Cone token, similar to the DYST token, does not have a maximum supply. Rather, emissions are designed as a decaying inflation system so that inflation becomes less and less over the long term. Remember, the VE33 system influences the distribution of cone supply in such a way that the higher the percentage of cone supply locked as VE cone, the lower the emissions and the lower the total future supply. It's also worth pointing out that VE cone positions are represented by NFTs. In addition to being able to use VE cone to vote on gauges for swap fee revenue, having VE cone as NFTs provides the possibility of greater use case scenarios for VE cone, such as lending, for example, and allows VE cone positions to be tradable for enhanced capital efficiency. Altogether, these VE33 mechanisms will allow Cone to provide enhanced liquidity services never seen before on the Binance Smart Chain for all of its users. Now, even if you're only understanding a small percentage of the information I'm sharing with you, that is okay. The best place to stay up to date on announcements or contact us is through the Sphere Finance Discord. Links are in the description below. You can also leave us a comment and we will do our best to help. After all, this video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are. Having VE Cone as NFTs provides the possibility of greater use case scenarios provides the possibility of greater use case scenarios scenarios